Ah, well, there was about, I think there was about five of us uh, school leavers. So we were up in the right hand side of the factory. It was more just uh, one floor long. So we had our cutting benches, and then the leather was all stored behind us in those days. Uh, so basically, you had a they had to, I'm left handed, so they had to cut a bit of hardwood to put into the bench for me being left handed. So uh, you stretch the skin, you had sheep shears to cut, and then you, uh, you have to stretch the leather, then you, you cut it out. You had, uh, what would be the word for it? Um, template. Template in kind of special, it was like a hard cardboard. So you could work out where the fingers were, so you could get rid of a fault when you're in the in the cutting. So, but basically, all you did was cut out. You made a snip here for um, to denote that side of the hand. Obviously, this it had to be matched to either side. So then, put together, put on a piece of cardboard. The thumb had to be cut out again to match what you've done put on top this way. So you build, you build them up in a row, so it, would be, it could be a dozen and a half more. Uh, then, then they went down to the next stage where there was, uh, he was called George, I can't think of his surname now. Uh, he had a big press and basically he had the, the web or punch that put on so many of them to, to cut out the glove properly. That's what I started there. Then they bought, uh, they were called clicker presses from Germany. Can't remember the make, they were very good presses though. So you had a, a, a plastic, well, kind of plasticky rubber block that they, uh, they made out the full web punch. So that would be put, you, you, you stretch your skin, you put that out onto the block, put the punch down, swing the arm across, two buttons for safety and it would go down and cut out and that was worked by a big wheel that altered the height then you had a gauge to fine tune it because one of the little games the youngsters uh, yeah, we would play is that if somebody went off somewhere for a minute and <laughs> you come back they would have altered the gauge yeah. <laughs> so you go like that and it would ram the thing into the block uh, it would seize up, it was a safety thing, it would kind of seize up. So you had to <laughs> hire it up by hand, put it back to where it was meant to be set, and try and get the web out <laughs> of the block. <laughs> so, uh, so that was the modern technology.